Having lifted the trophy in the last two World Cup finals, it's no surprise New Zealand are proving popular here in Japan. The All Black players and staff have fully immersed themselves in the local culture since arriving in Kashiwa, winning them plenty of fans along the way. You can see how much the Japanese have really gone into making sure this World Cup is is a friendly one and a supportive one to all the nations. So um, that was our first stop and you know, uh, Kashiwell was where we had our camp and, and there's a lot of work going into studying about what New Zealand's about, I think, um, looking back at it. And you know, the haka was, you know, was wonderful and it's something that you know, the team holds uh, close to its heart. Uh, it's a very important cultural uh, a thing for us and our country and so it was really good, yeah, it's awesome. We all performed, hoping to impress the All Blacks. Their hacker performances, the way they play, the force with which they clash into their opponents, everything about them is so cool. I, I really think they really know the meaning of the haka. I, I saw a lot of aggression and a lot of um, serious faces, so I was actually really, really stoked with um, with the haka, and, and the boys were really surprised with how, with how really how good it was. It was awesome. Oh, that was yeah amazing. You know, I think um, to see our culture being performed by, uh, I guess, another you know culture doing it back to us was fantastic. And just to see the look on the face too, uh, you know, very passionate about it. Um, so pretty cool to see. Oh, it's just um, it's just very humbling to be an All Black and to be uh, loved in this part of the world, which is which is foreign to us. Um, really means a lot that people would come out and show up in numbers and, and support us and support this, this event which is the pinnacle of, of an event or something that we want to be part of and to experience this and to experience all the emotions in this environment. We thought we were going along to a beach, we've got hot water beaches back in New Zealand and um, thought it was similar to that but no, it was just hot sand and buried alive basically. Um, so I think I lasted about 10-15 minutes, so it was, a, it was an interesting experience, um, but you know, very relaxed after it. It's a typical Japanese way, isn't it? They, they take you into their heart and um, they've been that fantastic. Uh, you know, real eye-opener for a lot of us really about just how lovely a country and how great a uh, person they are. You know, they're humble, um, very grateful and, and uh, respectful.